Hello, and welcome to Fairies, Mermaids, Unicorns, a show about the captivating world of mythical creatures. Today, we talk about Phoenix, the legend of a fiery creature. In various nations, there is a magical being associated with sun worship that is identified with eternal life and constant renewal. The image of the phoenix bird is found in many countries. People believed that this bird could not die, but could be reborn. The phoenix is an ancient symbol of death and rebirth. Similar magical creatures can be traced all over Asia and Europe. The phoenix is portrayed as a magnificent bird with a plumage of fiery colors, and also with fiery powers. Or, in some stories, as a bird actually made of living flames. The classic tradition has it that there is usually only one phoenix in the world. Unlike other mythical beings, it's not immortal. Instead, it lives, ages, lays one single egg and burns itself up, after which the heat of its self-cremation causes the egg to hatch. Alternatively, the new phoenix may be born directly from the ashes of its predecessor. After its death, the phoenix would be reborn from the ashes of its former self, emerging as a new bird with renewed youth and vitality. This cycle of death and rebirth was said to continue indefinitely with the phoenix living for another 500 years before repeating the process. The phoenix is sometimes equated with or associated with a number of other myths about fiery or divine birds. The Egyptian Bennu, ancestral to the Greek phoenix, is a mythical bird that was associated with the sun and was a symbol of rebirth and regeneration. According to Egyptian mythology, Bennu was said to have created itself from fire. Some legends claim it was the first being in existence and helped with the creation of the world. The Bennu was an important symbol in Egyptian religion and was often depicted on temple walls and other religious artifacts. The Bennu was sometimes depicted wearing a crown, a distinctive headdress worn by Egyptian gods, which further emphasized its divine status. The Chinese Feng Kuang is often referred to as the Chinese Phoenix. It is considered one of the four sacred animals in Chinese culture, along with the dragon, tiger, and tortoise. In Chinese mythology, the Feng Kuang is often depicted as a beautiful bird with colorful feathers resembling those of a peacock. It is believed to symbolize good fortune, peace, and prosperity, and it is associated with the element of fire. The Feng Kuang only appears during times of peace and prosperity, and its appearance is said to be a sign of the arrival of a wise ruler. The Feng Kuang is also associated with the concept of yin and yang, as it is said to have both male and female qualities. In Chinese art and culture, the Feng Wang often appears alongside the dragon, which represents the yang or masculine side, while the Feng Wang represents the yin or feminine side. The firebird in Russian folklore is a magical bird that features prominently. It is often depicted as a symbol of good fortune, prosperity, and happiness. According to legend, the firebird's feathers glow brightly, illuminating the path it takes. The firebird is believed to be incredibly elusive and difficult to catch. In many tales, the hero of the story is tasked with capturing the firebird as a task to prove his worth or win the hand of a princess. The hero typically sets out on a long and dangerous journey, facing various challenges and obstacles along the way, before finally capturing the elusive bird. The phoenix is often associated with themes of resurrection, immortality, and transformation. It has been depicted in art and literature for centuries, and its story has been adapted into many different cultural contexts throughout history. There is a small myth in Jewish religion that tells of what once happened in Eden. He says that Eve bore the fruit of the tree of wisdom, not only to Adam, but to all living beings who were in the district. 
Only one creature resisted temptation and therefore saved its immortality. That is how the phoenix lives for hundreds of years and is reborn from the ashes. There is another story that deals with Bible motives. While Noah was on the ark during the flood, only one of the birds did not ask for food. When he asked it why it does not eat anything, the magical creature replied that it does not want to upset Noah and add to his worries. The man was very moved and asked the Lord to give the phoenix an endless life as a reward. In the Christian religion, the phoenix bird became a sign of an infinite being, resurrection and eternity. Some believe it is a symbol of Christ. In early Christianity, it was often possible to find an image of the phoenix on tombstones. This is an important sign that indicates a triumph over death. In heraldry, the phoenix is depicted rising from the flames. Both rival queens in Britain, Elizabeth I and Mary, Queen of Scots, used the phoenix as an emblem to represent their reigns. Elizabeth I used the phoenix as a symbol of her own rebirth after surviving numerous assassination plots and threats to her throne. Mary, Queen of Scots, also used the phoenix as one of her emblems, her personal motto being, in my end is my beginning, which reflects the phoenix's symbolism of rebirth and renewal. Today, the phoenix remains a powerful symbol of renewal and regeneration, inspiring people to embrace change and overcome adversity. Its legacy serves as a reminder of the enduring power of hope and the possibility of transformation. Even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, the phoenix is a powerful and iconic mythological creature that has been adapted into various forms of popular culture. Magic, the gathering card game, has the phoenix as a type of creature card that can be summoned by players during gameplay. These cards typically have the ability to return from the graveyard to the battlefield after being destroyed, symbolizing the creature's mythical ability to rise from the ashes. The phoenix is a significant character in the X-Men comic book series, particularly through the character Jean Grey. In the comics, Jean Grey becomes possessed by the Phoenix Force, a cosmic entity that grants her immense power but also threatens to consume her. The storyline has been adapted into several X-Men movies and TV shows, most notably X-Men The Last Stand and Dark Phoenix. In the Dungeons & Dragons setting, the Phoenix appears as a powerful monster that can be encountered by players during their adventures. These creatures are typically depicted as large, fiery birds that can regenerate themselves when killed, just like the mythological creature they are based on. The Phoenix has been featured in several computer games, including Heroes of Might and Magic, Warhammer, and Warcraft. In the world of Harry Potter, a phoenix named Fox is the pet phoenix of Albus Dumbledore, the headmaster of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Here's what we know about Fox. Fox is described as an exceptionally beautiful bird with vibrant orange and scarlet feathers that seem to glow like flames. The phoenix is also depicted as having large talons, a sharp beak, and piercing blue eyes. As a phoenix, Fox possesses magical abilities such as the power of flight and the ability to heal others through its tears, which have restorative properties. Additionally, when Fox dies, it bursts into flames and is reborn from its ashes, symbolizing the cycle of death and rebirth. Fox plays a significant role in the Harry Potter series. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, it saves Harry and his friends from certain death by flying them out of the chamber. Later in the series, Fox helps to heal Harry after he is injured in a battle and even comes to Dumbledore's aid during a critical moment in the final book. The Phoenix is often seen as a symbol of hope, healing, and resurrection, representing the cyclical nature of life and death. Overall, the Phoenix is a fascinating mythological creature that has been adapted into many different forms of popular culture, showcasing its enduring appeal and symbolism. Thanks for watching. See you soon.